I greet you all my precious brethren and uh, sisters worldwide. Thank, thanking the Lord, now I am uh, uh, speaking on one very important subject. Very important subject that is uh, Abraham, the father of uh, Israel, Ishmael, that means Muslims and Christians. But the bride of Christ is the se royal seed of Abraham. Yes, that is a special category. The bride of Christ is the royal seed of Abraham, is a special category. That means that I tell you later on, the bride of Christ is taken from Israel, Jews and Muslims. There is also bride of Christ is there. And this Christian world, all these denominations, what you say about all this, uh, uh, because the bride of Christ is a special category and the bride of Christ has been taken up, has been chosen or predestinated from all these three kinds of people. Not only that, even Hindus, Buddhists and all this. So that I did not mention that why I put here three uh, categories, th three people, uh, sorry, three, uh, you know, religions, I can say, religions, like Israel, Jews is a religion, and uh, uh, Muslim, and uh, Christians, all right. Seeing the present world, uh, present war going on between uh, Israel and uh, Hamas, that you say Muslims, all the Muslims world got together fighting against Israel, and this Christian world got together, grouped up and supporting the Israel. All these things you, you are seeing that. But where the bride of Christ is standing, that is very important. Where the bride of Christ standing today? Are they supporting the both the nation or siding to the only Israel like other Christian countries taking the side of Israel and uh, uh, going against the Muslims? And uh, uh, these things are uh, happening. My dear brothers and, brothers and sisters, Bride of Christ cannot do that. One thing I remember that. Bride of Christ is not supporting the revenge or tit for tat like Jews. Because under the fifth seal, they are asking the souls of Jewish people who are martyred by the Hitler, Mussolini and all these people martyred them, the Jews and the Jews are asking the, uh, they are pleading to God under the altar, they are pleading Lord, when Lord you will going to take the revenge, when Lord then God uh, you know, consoling them and, te and telling them, see until your brothers, you know that, that means Benjamin, that means 144,000 sealed, be quiet and they they have been given white robes that they are asking for the revenge even still today what is going on here that is the revenge see Israel the Jews only uh, they are looking for the revenge to take not the, not the bride of Christ bride of Christ has no business about the revenge bride of Christ cannot take the revenge you know bride of Christ is not for the tit for tat bride of Christ is not at all any time bride of Christ cannot be cannot condemn the Muslims and say that uh, oh, all right the Israel is right but Muslims are wrong no they she cannot take any one side neither Muslim side nor Israel side nor any one side nor Christian people's uh, Christian side so they are, they are the Christians I, I'm, I can tell you political Christian or Christian so-called Christians altogether denomination. We say Christians means denomination Christian, not the true Christians. True Christians are the bread of Christ, I tell you. True Christians are the bread of Christ, but these are denomination Christians together. That one day they will become the world council of churches. You know, one day this world council of churches and along with the Pope, they will go against the uh, Jews. You know, which Jews you are asking? The same Jews. The same Jews, but not this what you are seeing today. Not this Jews. They are going against the 144,000 who are called by the two prophets, Moses and Elijah. So all these things are there. So therefore, now I, I would like to tell you, the, the, the bride of Christ is a special category. But we cannot curse Israel. That is what the word of God says. Because Israel is our brotherhood. Uh, Israel is because from uh, from Isaac, 
and the David came and from David that uh, Jesus Christ came in the line of David. Yes, sir. in the uh, in that uh, in the line of in, in the family of David, and uh, the Jesus Christ came. He born, so therefore he he he's be, he will be called the son of David. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ will be uh, will have we will going to fulfill the that position that things the sonship of David. That means son of David. Yes, sir. and uh, being the son of David, that Lord Jesus Christ will rule all the nations in the time of millennium. This son, son of da- son, son of David, will be fulfilled in the millennium. That is what I put it in the uh, you know son of man, son of God, son of David in my YouTube channel that you can uh, hear very well. So therefore, listen carefully here. Now listen carefully. Now it is very careful. I, I tell you, this is a very beautiful subject uh, that uh, nobody should make a mistake actually. See, I, I tell you, uh, we bless Israel, we pray for Israel. All right. That don't mean that uh, uh, many are dying in Palestine, Muslims are dying. You know, that I am not supporting those things. You know, I, I don't say, oh, they are killed. They are. See, I feel very bad. I feel that after seeing those uh, people are innocent, people are killed by the bombard. But God allowed it in that way because uh, Israel's, their Jews are the revenge. They are taking the revenge. Anybody now, right now because still now they are blind. They never recognized the Messiah in the first coming of the Messiah. They never recognized and they will be going to recognize and they are expecting the Messiah would going to come to their, their nation. Yes, Messiah will going to come to Israel and they, 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 they are uh, uh, thinking their thoughts are different. They think that Messiah will be the superman and he will come and he will save Israel. No, Messiah will be the same message, uh, sorry, same Messiah who came 2000 years back. Very humble, very meek and very humble. So, uh, same way, the Messiah will be going to come to Israel and, and he will be standing on the Mount Olives and he will not be a superman. He will not be the man who will be a superman like a Russia, America with the tanks and with the fighter jets and coming to bombard upon the enemies of Israel. No, no. He will come in the same manner. The same wound. He will bring the same wound. He will bring the same blood. He will show the everything, whatever happened in 2000 years back uh, uh, in, uh, in Jerusalem, how they crucified, how, the, uh, how that become a wound. So, in, um, uh, uh, in Zakari somewhere in the book that says uh, and he will stand on the Mount Olive uh, that, w- that will be the third coming of the Lord uh, for Israel, for Jews, for 144,000. They will see him, they will watch him, they will see him directly and they will recognize those wounds and they will ask him, Lord, when these wounds have been to, to uh, when these wounds been on you? So they, they, they were asking the question, how it happened to you? How you got these wounds? Then what he would say? It is in my friend's house. Means same Israel, they did that. So there they recognized. Their eyes will be opened upon the Messiah. They will recognize. Then they will realize the same Messiah came uh, 2000 or 4000 years back. Yes, that is the fact, my dear friends. So the, this is what I want to tell you. So here is a very beautiful thing. Now, that would be the Messiah. He will going to uh, introduce himself again. And there will be the fight take place. The Hermageddon showdown. And he will not going to defeat the Pope or, uh, or armies of uh, all these Muslims or anyone. He will not going to defeat in that way all the enemies. That the, the fire proceeds out of his mouth. That means the word of God, the proceed from his mouth, that there will be an uh, instant death will take place. Antichrist and all his army will fall like a mosquito and they will fall dead. That, too, that is called the Armageddon war. Yes, so Armageddon war is the spiritual war between a demonic power and the Pope and the demonic power and the Lord Jesus Christ. There he will save the Israel in that way and he will directly come to the temple which is rebuilt by uh, Israel, that 144,000. They, they rebuilt that again the sacrifice will going to take place 1,000 year. The Lord will occupy that Jerusalem, not the new Jerusalem, the present where, where this Jerusalem, this 
new Jerusalem will not be there in the millennium. Listen carefully. No new Jerusalem. Don't make mistake. New Jerusalem will not be there in the millennium. That will be after the millennium. After everything will be burnt. That will not come before the earth, earth is burnt by the fire. Because sin will be remaining there. In the millennium sin will be there. But it cannot be worked out there actually. Because Satan will be bound by the 1000 years chains of the circumstance. So therefore my dear brother said this is a beautiful thing. So after 1000 years then the devil will be loosed. Then another war is going to take place. That is That will be called Gog and Magog. The kings of the north will come and they will come war against the saints and the Israel. Then, then the Lord will uh, rain the brimstone and fire and burn all the enemies and earth will be burnt and, uh, and then the new Jerusalem on the new earth and new heaven and the new earth, earthly, uh, the future home of the earthly bread, bread and the heavenly bridegroom. So that time that new Jerusalem will be coming and descending from the heaven, literally, literally, literally from the heaven and it will come and erect upon the Jerusalem where the, the where Israel, where this uh, and, uh, and all these things will take place. All right. Now let me go back again. Now listen carefully here. Abraham. Now he is the father. <laughs> now what this fight is going on? Not not against anybody else. This between I can say this is like a family fight. You know. Like in the one house, the family they are fighting. Because the Bible says about like that. See, Abraham met God. You know that? You believe that Abraham met God. So Abraham's royal seed also meeting the God. Let me tell you, the royal seed of Abraham meeting the God in the same manner how the Abraham met God. That is what I am going to tell you. Now, Abraham met God face to face, talked with God, had fellowship with God and had close contact with God and knew God, had called God. He said, Lord. He never said Lord. He said, Lord. All right. And two angels went down to the Sodom Gomorrah. Brother Balaam said about that. And the same thing happened in the end time. The bride of Christ met God. Ah, so met God and the, the received the promise. Now Abraham also received the promise. What was the promise Abraham received? That thou shall have the son. See, this is the promise. Thou shall going to have the son ah, out of your uh, womb, belly. Ah, thou shall going to have the son. Yes, because Abraham had no strength and he was already old man, something around 80 years or 90 years old, all right. And Sarah was something around same, uh, uh, 80 or something. That, that body was not uh, capable to produce the children, child because barren and womb is completely dead. No, uh, no womb, no workout. Abraham had no strength, no nothing, no material in Abraham to produce the child. So in that condition, God promised Abraham that the next visit, the next time when I come, thou shall have the son, he said. That, that son, yes. But uh, he had to wait. He received the promise. But as soon as he received the promise, we all know that his body changed. Brother Branham said about that. That Abraham's body changed. He is like a young man. And Sarah's body was changed. She looks like a young woman. And because of that, uh, for, for that one uh, uh, test, uh, uh, one thing happened there. The king like Abimelech, the young man, young king like Abimelech, he saw Sarah, her beauty, because how can be a old woman get a beauty, a beautiful, and she became a very beauty, and upon the beauty, Abimelech fell love, and he took her, and Abraham lied that she is my sister, instead of he, he, he said that he's, uh, she is my wife, he said that is my sister, Abimelech took her, and God spoke to Abimelech, and he restored back Abraham's wife again. So that is the thing. So in, in that manner, so Abraham and Eve, sorry, uh, Sarah, they became very young, very youth, very beautiful. And they, they were able to produce the child. Yes, sir. And we know that. So uh, it took time. It took some 25 years or uh, so much, uh, so, so many years. Never, did not take place immediately. They had to wait for that. So in, in between that time, what happened? Uh, Abraham heard the voice of Sarah. 
and Sarah, instead of he stand uh, what God told him, he did not, he, 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 was, he was impatient. He was thinking that uh, he should get a child. So what happened? He, he knew that all capacity he has, all strength he has to produce a child. When he knew that, when Sarah knew that he has every uh, qualification to produce the child, so what happened? She advised him to go after the Hagar. Hagar. So Hagar is a concubine. I can say concubine. So, uh, you know, concubine means you understand what is a concubine. And uh, uh, he is the woman. You know, those, those days they were marrying one, two, three, like that. You know, they concubines. They have uh, likewise. So, uh, hearing that Sarah, he went after the Hagar and got a child whose name was, whose name is Ishmael. Whose name is Ishmael. Yes, sir. Ishmael. Ah, then what happened? Then after, then later Isaac born. So when Isaac born, there only the fight took place. Isaac and Ishmael were both were fighting. It uh, it was too much. Then uh, Sarah told, "I don't want this bond woman should stay in our house. Lay you put her out, put her away." Because that I don't want that uh, my son will have fight with that Ishmael. So this fight was the fight from the uh, from the beginning. That fight took place, and what happened? Then Abraham had to put her away. She went to see uh, directly Arab Arabia, the desert of Arabia. She went. Her uh, breast that milk was dried up. She could not feed the child. Then she thrown the child, and there the earth opened and the water came uh, and uh, and drop of water uh, fell into that child's mouth and uh, that she kept the name God listened my prayer and uh, that child was uh, uh, child was alive you know child did not die and that place say same Arabia so that place that Ishmael uh, there and Ishmael grown up and his generation came out and they started to worship the idol worshiping all right and in that line uh, you know that uh, Muhammad Paigambar, you, 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 you can say that Muslims, uh, you know, respect him as a prophet. He came and he uh, studied all Jewish books and everything and there he, he is a, a, a reformer like, you know, then uh, he brought out, then he realized that we are the uh, generation, we, we are the people from the same father, Abraham. They recognized, then that, uh, out of that, uh, these Mohammedans came, Muslims came out of Ishmael, but there only that God, uh, actually well, the God said that uh, Ishmael like a wild bull, the, you know, he always, you know, like that. So, these fights was beginning, started from the beginning, not it is a new to, to today for us. Uh, every time they are fighting, fighting and, uh, you know, all these things. Are, so, they, they also, that Ishmael also, even you can see, study the Muslim uh, book <coughs> and there it is mentioned, they also respect Abraham as a father. Yes, Abraham is the father. Abraham is the father of the same Muslims. Now, like Israel. Israel came out from Isaac. Now, Jews are from Isaac. Abraham, uh, that Muslims are from Ishmael. So, Ishmael and Isaac, they both fight each other neck to neck. They, they have the sword. Uh, wa, wa, the Ishmael's sword will be upon Isaac's neck and Isaac's sword will be uh, is upon the Ishmael's neck. So, these fights was going on from the beginning. It's a Bible. Bible is the truth. Bible is the book. There is nowhere in the world you can find the, such a wonderful book, such a wonderful God you can see, but only the Bible. All right. Now, uh, from Isaac, I tell you, from Isaac, from Isaac, that David came and David, uh, and you know that David, the King David, very great King, very mighty King, and out of David line and generation, the Bessabe, and from Bessabe, and David married with Bessabe, and from there, and from there, and from there, you know, the line, same line, we can see, Jesus was born. So, so when Jesus was born, Jesus, so the, from the Jews, uh, so very few people recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. And those people were called the Christians because on the day of Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit came upon them and they became a Christians. Yes, sir. And they became a Christian. That, that is how the Christianity started from Jesus. Je Jesus is the prophet. He, 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 is the, he, he is the God. God manifested in Jesus. And that was the God. Jesus is the Savior. And the same Savior. He came. Uh, he born among the Jews by the supernatural birth. 
not any man's contact with the uh, Mary without contacting man he, he got a supernatural birth because God spoke to that word and that word uh, fell upon fell in the womb of Mary and Jesus came out and that Jesus uh, uh, in the middle of the Bible out of that came the Christianity all right and there I tell you <clears throat> And we know that uh, after that, that uh, uh, the, you know, the 325 AD, uh, that revelation is gone and uh, Father, Son and the Holy Ghost was introduced. We know, we know all that 2000 years, church ages was there. The, all the, uh, so many that denomination came out and uh, a thousand and thousand and thousand denominations, Methodist, Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's, all the, all what you are seeing today in the whole world covered by this Christian, uh, Christian denominational people. All right, all right, Christian denominational people, that's what. But uh, uh, those people were converted uh, a, a, among the Jews, I'm telling you, among the Jews, they were the bride, they were the part of the bride, they, they were the Jewish bride, I can say. From the Jews, they were taken part of the Jewish bride, all right. So, they, the, the, this thing happened, they are uh, there in the grave today. They are sleeping in the grave until uh, Gentile bride get ready. They will be in the grave. When the Gentile bride get ready and Gentile bride, uh, the ministry, that grave will be open in the, in the last days. The grave will be open. The son of man will give, give the voice of the son of man, enter into the grave and wake up the dead from the uh, grave. That, that is the final. Altogether, the bride lot will be to get together before go in the rapture. This is the clear cut picture I am showing you. Alright, now what happened? Now, I tell you, now here, uh, you, you can see, alright, uh, this is very beautiful. Now here what happened? So, now the royal seed of Abraham is a different special class, I told you. All right, royal seed of Abraham is a special class that, uh, that they have nothing to do with the Jews or uh, Muslims or any other religions. They are totally separate. For that I read from the uh, word of God and from the message of Ilham Brahman. All right, now, now uh, we cannot uh, hate these uh, Muslims or Palestinian, Palestinians and all these people because bride has a compassion. Because bride has a compassion. Bride has the spirit of God. God has no partiality. Because bride will be from even Muslims, even Jews. How God uh, took the bride from the Jews in 2000 years back. But now the grace of God came to Gentiles. Once again Gentile church will be blinded. Before that they, there, there will be many people will receive the receive Lord Jesus Christ among the Muslims and all those things. So therefore, even they believe, Muslims believe in Jesus, you know that? They believe, they call he is a prophet. The, still the Muslims are respecting Jesus Christ. But their doctrine is different, their theory is different. I don't want to touch that. I have a very good person that I heard from him, the Christian prince. If you are going to the YouTube, you can hear Christian Prince, how he defeated the Muslims by the Bible. Very wonderful man. So yes, I, I tell you, uh, Christian Prince, that you, you can uh, put in that name Christian Prince and you will get uh, all his debates. He was a Muslims guy and very big scholar and he left that he, because of the life threatening. He settled in America and you can hear him, his uh, YouTube, how he is challenging, how he is disproving the Quran and all those things. So I don't want to touch that. Now I want to tell you, now our our agenda is that uh, uh, this one, uh, what you say about uh, uh, that Muslims, they, the, we, we cannot have the enmity with the Muslims. Yes, sir, because we don't want to do that. We are a Christian. We have to have the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of Christ. We cannot do that because we have to win the souls. Even in the Muslims also, many bride of Christ will be there, is there and is there. 
and you know that is why we cannot go against them and uh, you know you know say that wonderful good that you know we feel feel pity when we see this bombardment all these things this, uh, little children are dying infants are dying all these things are happening we should not be you know in that way although we cannot cond- even we cannot curse the israel no because they are blessed people god is going to deal with them in the very near future and th- therefore we cannot do that also but we have to be very 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 careful and very very uh, you know we have to be very careful and we have to be we should not be a judgmental so now now the bride of christ is a special category as i told you bride of christ is a special category and bride of christ cannot have the spirit of the uh, you know anger or revenge all these things bride of christ is special now let me read for you where i can prove you now this is uh, here yes sir. now this is the quotes brother danam uh, after this i behold and lo bra- unquote brother danam took the scripture from the bible and is reading here after this i behold and lo a great multitude which no man could number here comes the bride of all nations kindreds people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed in white robe and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our god which sitteth upon the throne and to the lamb all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders yes about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts fell before the throne in the in their faces and worshiped god saying amen amen blessings glory wisdom thanksgiving honor power might be to our god forever and ever after uh, all right <clears throat> what are these which are all right the, this i have taken exposition of seven church ages so here this group this uh, great numbers they are the bride of christ yes they are standing before the throne and asking now another course i because this is for your information from all the nations means anyone palestine or arab or uae or whichever nation all muslim countries all other countries so bride of christ made up of and called of all the nations all the religions all the tribes everywhere kindred language nations nothing why yes every from the, everywhere the, 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 the bride is called by god and predestinated by god why yes so we are different we cannot have anything to do with this uh, we cannot take side like other christian countries are taking because they are the political christians yes the, the, those are the same people one day they will going to hate this jews you know that ha ah, not muslims will going to hate these christian countries will going to hate because after world church council has been formed and the pope will take charge and pope will going to trying to go and occupy jerusalem he will fool the jews and he will going to uh, sit there and uh, he want to be worshiped like a god in that temple do you know that that is the thing will going to take place that's why be careful we cannot join with these uh, christians and say ah why so let the people die let the muslims die no 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 don't do that we are not about that all right now let me read here another quote what are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence came they and i said unto him sir thou knowest and he said to me these are they which came out of great tribulation and i washed their robes and made them white in the blood of lamb therefore are they before the throne of god and serve him day and night in his temple and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them they shall hunger no more neither thirst any more neither shall the sun light on them uh, any heat for the lamb is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes jesus has come he has now this is the foolish virgin actually they are only going under the tribulation exposition of the churches all right foolish virgin and the wise virgin all this together called by god from all the nations multitudes so now you tell me 
Do you know that? Do you believe that there are millions of brides are in the Muslims? Muslim countries, whether it is Palestine, whether it is Saudi Arabia, whether it is all Muslim countries, they are there. So we, know we cannot against them. We have to have the compassion, love for them. We have to pray. Uh, not only we pray for Israel, we have to pray for those people who are in those countries. We have to pray for them to survive. Let not God, let the war be stopped, let the ceasefire take place. Let not them be demonized. That is why. So God is a supernatural God. God is the God of everyone, not only Israel. God is, first of all, God is the God of bride. Now Israel is not become a, uh, so, sorry, God is not gone to Israel. He is still in the side of Gentiles. Although Gentile eyes is blinded now, but yet his dealing is going on in Gentiles. Busy dealing is going on because Gentile church, the Gentile bride will going to receive the power from the above, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So, uh, until the last soul comes, we don't know from where the last soul will come. Either any religion, so the last soul will come. And will be the bride lot will be over and door will be closed. So, until then, we have to pray, my dear brothers and sisters. We should not take a stand. I feel pity upon these pe people. All these people are, uh, people are dying and uh, things are happening. We are pity. We have to pray. Let the war stop. But uh, they, the, the, that one thing I tell you, Israel will never going to be defeated. One thing sure, because God never allow them to be defeated. Because God's next dealing will be there in Israel. Therefore, Israel Israel cannot be defeated or neither they will be bombed by any countries. So strong they are. But at the same time, we have to have a balance. We have to have a compassion on those people who are dying, uh, you know, under this bombardment and everything. We have to have the compassion on them. So therefore, I would like to tell you, so this war is uh, actually uh, is going on. Now, you know, among like a family, you know, Abraham is the father of all this uh, people. So therefore, our we, the, the bride of Christ is a special category. We are not the Christians that what we are seeing today. Not those Christians. We are different Christians. We are, we are the royal seed of Abraham because how Abraham got a promise directly from God as he met God. So the royal seed of Abraham today in this end time met God. And receive the promise of God. Today, that same Isaac is nothing but the, uh, the, 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 the son. The Isaac is the son. Nothing but the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That is the promise for the bride of Christ. So, God bless you uh, for a little admonition, little exhortation that I have given to you. And uh, uh, let me pray at last. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. Heavenly Father, I, I feel pity after I preaching this message. Father, my heart is going after these people who are really uh, dying under this bombardment and everything in the Middle East. Heavenly Father, I pray. I even pray for Israel because thy word says, pray for Israel. I pray for them. Lord, pr protect them in every manner. Let not the enemy, because all these terrorists and all these extremists are terrific. They even not have compassion upon their own people. They even, they try to kill the president of the PLO, Palestinian Liberation Organization. Yes, sir. so they are, that is the demon lord. So what is happening in among the fight between the demon and Israel? Some innocent people are dying. Father, I pray nothing should happen to the innocent people. Those are the people will be the bride of Christ one day and they will come in the lots of the bride lot. Heavenly Father, I pray that war may stop instantly and as your uh, uh, angels are holding the winds from the four corners of the earth. Loving Father, I believe that thou shall going to do it very soon. Heavenly Father, I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. God bless you.